Hey guys, Filthy Robot here, back with the Roomba, continuing our EU4 campaign of uh, dominating England, except losing all of our ships. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the English Navy, right? So, it happens. Yeah. Uh, Make them feel good see. about themselves. A real quick check, Kildari and Ulster. They're both still on Tech 3. We have a tech advantage over every one we're fighting. It's very useful. Good. Let's okay. go wipe out this 10 stack. All right, let's, um, let's see. We got a we got a div mat doing nothing right now. Without anything to do, I'll probably... Uh, Default to going now again reversing decision here and improving relations with Oh, never mind. We're at war with the papal state. We can't make the papal state like us. Okay. How about uh, Counter spy uh, Sure, we could do that we could fabricate on Denmark so we can get more claims on Norway, but yeah, yeah Fabricate on Denmark. That's more interesting. You're not you're not a big fan of this counter spy. You told me about it You like introduced it, it like it's you, hung, you like swung it in my face You're like you should counter spy and then every time I try to counter spy <laughs> you're like no, it's bad. It's just that it's so low on the priority list. There's so many things that I would rather do, and I'm, I want to like that feature. It's a new feature that they added. I just, I still don't like the fact that it's in an, an individual targeted country system. If it could just be like, I want you to counter espionage anyone who spies here, I would probably do it more often. But if you have three different nations all spying on you at once, and you've got to commit three diplomats to counter spy on each one, then that's yeah, silly. It's a lot. It's a lot. I don't like it. So, anyway, we've got. Uh, so, six, have you you've seven, committed only nine k to go killing the ten k army, and you're okay with that? Oh, we're not actually moving up yet. We're okay. waiting, waiting for some occupations so we can get the full number of troops. Ah, that's what I, that's what I want. Okay. Plus, because he's sieging down a a, a forest, we want to let him just take that province for now. It is the war goal, so that's unfortunate. But uh, we want to get him out of that province. Gotcha. And we'll fight him in. Uh, eh, now he's going for some marsh. That's still unfortunate for us. Yeah. So we're waiting really for him to get to Yorkshire. We're just waiting for a favorable engagement. If we can't... Yeah, uh, which is either of the other two ones, uh, Lanchestershire or, Lor or Yorkshire, right? Yep, and if we can't get it, we'll just we'll end up going and fighting them anyway. A negative one penalty is not a big deal. Okay. Not really. So our war... We're only at 10%, so we, what do we need for our war go our current war score to end this? 100? Uh, no, it depends on the actual peace deal we do. It's It's been 100 for us before because we full occupied the enemy nations. In this uh -huh. case, it's not all, it's just not as much of a binary thing. It's going to be, you know, we're going to take some percentage of war score. When we feel like we're done and we can't get much more out of it, that's going to be when we peace out. Okay. Can I ask a quick question? Uh, mm -hmm. So when I mouse over the the uh, current war score and I go to the right, there's something called your current ticking war score is negative 0.4. You can gain 25.4 mm -hmm. more war score by achieving the war goal. What does this mean? That was controlling the actual target of the war, Cumbria. Remember how they just okay. took back the war goal? Yeah, we had more war score a moment ago because we had the war goal. But, oh, but this is a this is a war score, not a percentage. So this is twenty five more. Oh, I see. Okay. No. So we're gonna we're gonna clearly go take that back. Um, yeah. But until we do, he's actually accruing zero point four extra war score e every single month that this war continues, and he has control of the war goal. Okay. All right. This is interesting. They're actually splitting their army up. I like that. Okay. Nope, never mind. Now he's changed his mind. Do we keep, I mean, so let's, I'm mean, going to change screens here. It's not Q, it's W. Because he's allied with them, I guess that counts as his territory. And he's going to be the defender when we go in there, right? Is he, is he always going to be defender in there? Or is it, are we going to be the defender? If, if, if it was, uh, if you hit uh, W and you see the orange, uh, where the yellow and red, right? That's, uh, that's basically their territory that we occupy, right? Yeah. If, can, if, Cumbria was yellow and red as well, and we moved into it while he was sieging it. Would that count as him being the defender or us being the defender because it's our territory? Okay, I think I know where your confusion is coming from. Um, it, it's very simple. I'm going to tell you how it is 90% of the time, and then I'll tell you the only circumstance where it's not that way. Okay. The province that starts in the... The, the army that starts in the province will be the defender. Okay. So but you were telling me something different earlier, and it had yes. to do with... And it's, it's, it's only in one circumstance, and that's where if you own or control the fort, then you get the defensive bonuses. Got so it. there is no fort. Now. Yeah, there's no fort in Cumbria, so it's just whoever's there first. We're, we're the and defender. I see, I see you snuck in there when you when he wasn't yeah, looking, now he's yeah. coming back towards us. Nice. Yeah, he's being an idiot right now. He's going to suicide his entire army. Because right. not only are they they're engaging... Oh, he's doing um, it one at a time, too. Yeah, they're not even marching in lockstep, so there's four days that we just get to beat up on this little army, and they've taken a negative two penalty in, in bad terrain. Why, why, why am I not able to see the rolls? Damn it, I must have selected something different. Oh, there it is. Okay. So Yeah, yeah and we, we just crushed them on the first roll, too. Yeah, we're killing them five to one right now. Wait. 
No, we didn't. Am I at the bottom? Okay, we press it on the second hole. Yeah. For some reason, England thinks that it's it's wiser to take their one infantry from Ireland down into into France. So that's fun. All right. This is an opportunity where we're probably going to go for a, a stack wipe. I notice how, in that case, we actually stack wiped them again anyway. So they just didn't have enough morale, or you know, early game, the armies are just so strong. We actually did get the kill. Nice. It's very nice, actually. All right, so you're leaving one guy there to occupy this. And where are you going with the 10k? You're going for Ulster? Yeah, I'm, I wanted to see if we can actually cross this straight right now. Stack wipe that English army. Um, and then maybe get control of our provinces back. Okay. If we, uh, if we can do that... So the only thing is right now we're not sieging London. True. But we also want to finish the core of Sligo, which can't happen. Okay. While, we're, while it's occupied. So I'm hoping that we can actually cross this straight, which looks like he's going to let us. We've got a free okay. instant overrun wipe. And uh, that's the only reason we sent all these men. Okay. Next Why the hell did you let us cross the straight then? No, nah, because he's a dummy. He's not very smart. There's a level two fort over here in Pale. Um, let's go ahead and spread out a little bit. We'll take that guy we over there. We can't overrun a fort, right? No. Well, you can assault if you get a wall breach, but that's not going to happen. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and shift consolidate in this case to get the one stacks. We want them to be at full thousand troops so they can actually commit their sieges. Okay. And then we're going to block the uh, other provinces. We don't need to necessarily siege them, but we want to block them from being able to train anything. The tr mobile. Mm -hmm. Like, they move pretty quick. Mm-hmm. All right. Hmm. Yeah. All right. That looks good to me. Once we get our control of our provinces back, we'll actually commit a few more troops and, and go for the level 1 forts of Ulster and Kildare. We're not going to go for the level... Two fort in pale because it's going to take six troops, which is just a little bit too much. Um, he is still trying to land troops in Kent. Wow, what a crazy bastard! He's got quite a large army, in fact, that he's uh, trying to land in Kent right now. Eleven point five k army. One. Yeah, I am surprised to see that. All right, well, I would say we give up our claims on Ireland for now and bring back stuff back to deal with that. If we can stack wipe that other set of troops off England, he's basically out of troops, right? Yep. So what was Ledger again? It was L, and then uh, how do I get to the actual military score? L, F3. We'll take you to the military Three. tab. Okay, and I can look at sort of sort of by country, and then England for E, and infantry, cav. Yeah, so that's that's basically it. Total is 13k. If we can wipe that, he's basically out of troops, right? That's 11.5 of his total 13k. Mm-hmm. So... And what, if he does that, he can't reinforce because we have all of his fucking territory, so he can't build shit there, right? Yep. So what the hell is he going to do? Why would we not kill that? No, we're, we're definitely going to... I'm pulling back as much as we okay. can. We're going to leave right. two two infantry back here because we want to block... We want to block at least a couple of these provinces from training any more units. Because the, the one province miners, we just stack wiped them. They're going to try to train more men. As soon as we get troops off of those provinces, they will start to retrain. Okay. England can't really do it, probably because he's broke, but... um. We're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to retreat back to marches. And notice that even though he's got... Um, it only shows 11.5k. Yeah. If you actually hover over it, it's, it's it's showing 18 regiments. So there's 18 units directly. Okay. But there's only 11,500 actual does men. That, does that matter in any way? Because I saw we were doing that earlier too. That was the consolidate versus consolidate and leave some... Yeah. Yeah. It, does, so what is it does matter because he's pretty likely to consolidate before the battle, but he might not. So we might have to fight an 18 unit front row. In which case we would want to have 18 infantry plus cavalry on the flanks. Or he might consolidate down to just a 12 stack, in which case we only need 12 infantry plus our cavalry. Oh, that's interesting. So what is the downside of having a wider front to be girthier there, but uh, to have uh, less units in each of those? Um, so is it they, they're going to they're die faster and they're, I mean, does it, when it dies, does it collapse inwards? So it's like their front row, let's say they had one guy in each front row, is every time you kill that one guy, does it get their front get closer in so they're less wide when that happens? How does that work? It depends on which regiment actually takes the damage. You can you can easily route the center. If you have weakened troops in the center and um, you know three days later, reinforcements show up, but they're at full strength, they'll, they'll deploy on the flanks, on the sides, and you'll have a weakened center. Um, the, real, the only situation where you'd really want to stay wide is if you have too many cannons and you don't want the cannons to go into the front row. Nine okay. times out of ten, though, you're going to want to actually consolidate to have the strongest fighting forces as possible in the center of your army. 
So he's flanking did what again? It, like it, I don't I don't recall what it actually does. So when we have units attacking from the flanks, they can't be counterattacked. Is that right? Yeah, they're engaging in a unit that's not engaging them. So they're just getting yeah. free attacks in, and they're usually very powerful attacks because cavalry are quite strong. Okay. So we're trying to put together at least twelve infantry is what I was trying to get. So we've got um, uh, we got one, two, three. That's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Yep, 12 infantry plus the cavalry. That's why we're leaving behind two infantry over there just to blockade and stop people from training stuff. Notice that little man in pale? Uh, pays, it pays yeah. to pay attention. He's got a Latin medieval infantry fielding on the 13th of January. If we can get an army there before the 13th of January, we can just block him from doing that. So let's move our infantry over there and just kind of say, nope, not, yeah. not allowed. The little man being the guy with the hammer you're talking about? Yep, now we just blocked okay. it. Now again, notice there's a little guy with a hammer in Kildari. He'll field yeah. an infantry on March the 9th. Does it reset his uh, thing in pale, or does it does it go back to zero, or does it continue progress where it was? Nope, it completely blocked it. You're not allowed to train troops in enemy in territory okay. that's being on. So uh, you can just wander back and forth and use one guy to hold two uh, two territories if you want a micro. Yep, and looking at it, there was Ulster's capital, Kildari's capital, and the province of pale, which is why I wanted three, or sorry, two troops instead of just one. I, I figured two troops would be better at... We have one Holding guy those. that's going to take back our three provinces, and one guy that's going to block units from being trained. Okay. This is the plan there. Unfortunately, uh, what are you doing? Are you seriously? God damn it. He's such a dummy. He's he's going back into the water again. Yeah. Which is just, he's just dicking us around. And to be clear, bit. this is the beta with your advanced AI, right? Well, it's the building AI. I didn't make the no, actual it's... AI any smarter. I just I made them. I'm going to blame you for silly, silly AI so, decisions. So that's so weird. Okay, so he, he, took his, he takes his army back out onto the boats in Dogger Bank, and then he docks his navy in, in London. That's where the rum is. It's on the boats. We we pillaged everything in this area. Yeah. Every every once a month, they gotta get back out there, man. That is sure the English Navy runs on rum. That is too much. Okay, so in March, within within the next month or so, we gotta block both Ulster and Kildare from training a troop. I'm glad you're doing that. Yeah. For now, let's go get Leinster back. We have time. I think yeah, we do. Notice how all of that area just got reverted. Slip back, yeah. That's the fort stuff. Yep. What I I don't get that. My screens then. What screen do I have to be on to get that progress? Um, depends. I've I think been, uh, you can see it on W. I think you can see it on Q. You can see. Yeah, I've been watching on W. Was I just totally missing it? You probably weren't zoomed in close enough. You can only see it if you're uh, zoomed in within a reasonable amount. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go block that real quick, and then we're gonna go back. We just okay, block up. block Kildare. Okay, go ahead. We got. Uh, there should be a stable government. Aww. Several of the leading members of the government are deeply worried about the changes proposed and how the realm should be ruled. They demand to stop to such outrageous reforms based on our tried and proved traditions, naturally avoiding mentioning how the changes would impact their own power base. We have accepted the demands, lose 50 administrative power, ignore them, lose 10 prestige, and threaten to expose their secrets unless they back down, lose 5 prestige. My guess is you value 50 administrative power less than 10 prestige. No. Or 5. No. No, no, no. I value 50 prestige way more than prestige. Sorry, 50 admin way more than prestige. Okay. We want to sack Prestige because it's really good, but Prestige is nothing compared to Monarch Points. Monarch Points actually let you do stuff. Tech, coring, um, they let I you see. do things. Prestige is just a nice number to have. Alright, then I'm going to take uh, the unique one available to our ruler that makes us only lose 5 Prestige instead of 10. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Okay, um... Hmm... What did we do that pissed the nobility off so much, by the way? Say again? Sorry, you cut out. Uh, oh, we're getting some weird... Let's hope there's no fucking connectivity issues today. Um, we lost uh, something. We took something from them, right? It was one of the demands we, we got something out of. It might have been a general, maybe, or... No, that, that that makes it better. It looks like we demanded military support. We did do that, but yeah. I don't remember getting all the way down to negative 27. Oh, well. Looks like we might take out a loan here. We're losing we a ducat a month, and we only have 1.6 in the bank, so... Seems pretty likely. Yeah. Alright, we're heading over to Oxfordshire in preparation for engaging in Lincolnshire, Essex, or London, whichever one he moves to after you, after he goes out of Norfolk. Yeah. Also, let's check and make sure that these guys aren't fielding mute units. 18th of April. Yeah, we've, we've got time to take back our problems. Can we kill now. their general, by the way? I think I may have asked this, but <laughs> I've forgotten. No, but that's a feature I have oftentimes wanted. It would be amazing if you could try to assassinate generals. 
I didn't mean with spies because I've asked that question before. I actually meant when we're in battle with them, their, their general has a chance to die, right? And he's just survived mm -hmm. the last time. This is the same general, I assume, the two-star general here, or was this a different general? No, they could die. Yeah, he could die. So did we did the last one where we stack wiped them and they had a general, did that general die? No. It doesn't a stack wipe doesn't actually kill a general himself. Okay. So that's I don't, what I want. I don't like this. He hasn't consolidated his men and he's still got all of them there. So he's got eighteen in the front row, eighteen total regiments, and he's reinforcing relatively quickly. We're down to fifteen in the front row versus his eighteen. So if we were to engage him right now, we would actually get flanked, and he's reinforcing very quickly. So, um to me. We have a couple choices here. We could we could either try to rally our infantry over and give up control and allow these guys to train more units over here. Or we could take out a loan, which we're going to end up doing probably anyway, and hire a couple mercs to temporarily be able to have enough combat width to guarantee a quick victory, and then get rid of them as soon as we're done with that. The risk is I, we I don't know lose the downside of loans. Um, so that that's not something I can make. I mean, you're probably just saying, saying the options to let me know anyways. But my thought would be, if we win, if we kill this stack of infantry, like this war is over. Yeah. I yep. would... My thought would be, let's invest as much as we need to to make that happen. Mm -hmm. To guarantee it, I would actually want to have six Merc Infantry, which is a ton, but it would we would wreck him. There, there's just no way he could win. So to do that, that's like uh, 80 ducats worth of hiring cost, and then however long it takes us to actually conduct the battle. supported those fucking rebels. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fair. He's uh, landing some troops in Lincolnshire on March the 12th. We can be there on March the 8th. Let's do that real quick. That sounds like yeah, a great idea. Free kills. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say we need to just take out some loans. I, I just I, I want to beat the English. If we here's the thing, I'm thinking long term. If we beat the English and we wreck them like really hard, this is gonna be like the most difficult hurdle in the entire campaign. Once we beat England, then we're England. We're the superpower on the islands. You know. Hmm. So we're going to take out two loans manually, and we're going to hire some mercs. How did you do that? I don't know how to take out a loan. F14, the economy tab. Loans will be taken out automatically if your treasury is ever negative at the end of a month, but there's a little button with a a guy like holding out his hand and taking gold into it. Yeah. So we get out loans, uh, 58 ducats. It's based on your development. You notice that it's exactly or like just about half of the uh, development, 111 divided by 2, and then there's a multiplier on there based on the amount of production you get from technology so in this case it's it doesn't matter the loan is big it's good we need it so yeah. we need uh do he's got 18 troops we need six merc infantry right now all right and okay i thought i want to see you okay all right yep. train over there and we will march to lincolnshire to engage this stack oh he's actually Looking to come and fight us. He'll be there in the 9th. We'll be there in the 8th. We'll be the defender behind a river. He has uh, less maneuver than we do. Okay, that's fine. We'll take this fight. Okay. We're willing. So it might not. we might not even need these mercs. Do we... I, I guess... Right now, um, if we cancel these now, are they under their percentage or no? Is uh, we it 10%? Would, we'll get... Um, in this case, if we were to cancel the mercs right now, we would get 50% of the money back. So, well, we're going to want to yeah. probably train them just to... Well, we'll go... Well, I don't know. Let's see how the rules go. If we go. win this, this is why we needed the Mercs, was to win this fight. But we're, he's given us the fight on the defensive train anyways. So let's... Uh, Alright, I want to click on this army. Yeah, I wish it was less noisy, but... So we are... He is slightly wider than us. Yep, he didn't we're consolidate, right so we're getting flanked. That's why we were training the extra Mercs. So he's he's rolled much better in the first phase, but... In the beginning of the game, fire is not as important as shock, so... It's not it's not horrible, but if we get another bad roll, we could be in a in a bad position. Oh, we just gotta pop up. Trust ah, nice, nice, nice. We just rolled a nine. Okay. Uh should I put off this event? Doesn't matter. It's there's only one option. I guess I'll stipulate I just get plus one stability. That's awesome. Just trust your neighbor. I'm just gonna click that. Button. Okay. It's a good one to click. Yeah. Okay, April. So his morale is not doing so great there. Okay, let's check. He's still on tech 3. We just rolled really well. We rolled a 9 in the shock phase. He's wider than we are, so we're not really taking advantage of the ability for our cavalry to flank, but that's a very good roll. Especially because we have the morale and the tech advantage. And uh, right. and also, you'll notice that the penalty he's experiencing went up from negative 1 to negative 2 because those troops landed in the from the sea tile. So because we had better maneuver, he took a river crossing. But then troops joined the fight from the sea, which increased the penalty to negative 2. To his whole army? 
Yeah, the entire army is suffering a negative two cross on wow. penalty now. Okay, that's pretty useless. So his reinforcement actually hurt him more than it helped him in all likelihood. Because it was only like a 1k stack, right? Yeah, in this case it was really bad. Now if it had been like another 20k troops, probably would have been worthwhile. But um, yeah, I still feel like we should keep the, the mercs going. Um, let's wait three more days and then we can we can consider. Let's but just see what the... Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> we it's gotta, that time. We gotta wait and see? Alright. <laughs> it's gonna be a wait and see moment on the end of this uh, this fight. As, as ridiculously... Uh, cliffhangers we can do right yeah well we gotta try occasionally right That's so fair. all right we'll be back uh same time same place tomorrow thanks for watching everyone i'll see you soon see you guys soon i'm really really looking forward to seeing if we win this is going to be the deciding factor of the war right whether or not we beat england or not it's going to be come down not entirely but this this is an important battle yeah so, and I'm and the best part would be that if we do win then not only did we win the war but we also were the one that killed the english army we didn't and just we have, ride the yeah, coattails of the french and we'll be the uncontested girthiest army on the uh, diamond, <laughs> yeah. which is pretty great, too. All right. See you, <laughs> See you tomorrow. next time.